Hi Zoe, I have a client asking how to schedule a sweep on OnBase. Do you think you could help? Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Let me share my screen. To run a scheduled sweep, we need to start up in the OnBase client. But first, it is important to note that a user must belong to a user group with the client and client scheduler product rights and that they must have the rights to use the appropriate processing module. To check on this, we're going to go to OnBase configuration, go to users, user groups and rights, and find the user group name that you want to check on. Once you find that, you're going to click product rights on rights here. From here, you can see what rights you have checked for your user group. And for this, you want client and client scheduler to be checked. Once you see that, you can go out of here. And we're gonna go into OnBase client. Once you're in the OnBase client, you're gonna to go to the processing tab and scan slash index. From here, you can see all the scan queues available. For this example, we're going to use the AP Vendor Invoices scan queue. You're going to right click on the batch that you would like to schedule the sweep on, which then brings up the scheduled sweep option. Once you click on this, it brings up the schedule management window. Under this window, you can see all the scheduled sweeps that you have made in the past. For your scheduled sweep, you need to come up with a name and put it in the name field here for the scheduled process. Next, using the Processing Workstation dropdown, select the workstation that will be used to run the scheduled process. You should note that this workstation will need to be running with the scheduler or scheduled instance command line switch in order to run the scheduled processing, which will put it in the scheduler mode. I'll be talking about this more later on and how you can do this. If you always want the scheduled process to be run from a specific instance of the OnBase client, select the specific processing instant checkbox, then enter the name of the instant in the specific processing instance text field to the right of it. If you select this and don't put a name for the instance next to it, the scheduled process can be run from any instance of the OnBase client. Next, using the schedule template dropdown, select one of the scheduled templates for the process or select to manually configure the schedule for this process. I'll talk later on about where you can create a schedule template. For this, we're gonna do a custom schedule though. For this scheduled sweep, you can select a different calendar type by double clicking where it says weekly. Weekly, monthly, monthly day relative, annual, and full calendar will all appear as options. For this sweep, we'll just stick to weekly though. You can select the days you want the schedule process to run on by double clicking. Double click to turn one off and double click to turn one on. Next is the default daily schedule and selected day options. The default daily schedule tab allows you to configure the processing configuration for all days that do not have a selected day tab configuration. The drop-down list allows you to select time range or specific time. If you select time range, a, time, a start time box and end time box are displayed. Define the range of time in which you want your job format to begin processing. If you select specific time, a time box is displayed. Select the time at which you want the job format to begin processing. The selected day tab allows you to specify settings for the selected day that differ from the settings specified in the default daily schedule tab. For this, we need to select the day in the week that you want the selected day on, and you have to click the override default settings checkbox in order for it to run. It also has an option for time range and specific time. You can select how often you want the scheduled process to run by selecting one of the processing frequency radio buttons here on the right. Once then suspend, the scheduled item will be processed once and then the scheduled process is suspended. Once per day, the scheduled item will be processed once per day. And you should note that if the scheduled item is modified, the process may run again on the same day. And then every so many minutes, the scheduled item is processed in an interval measured in minutes entered in the field. The maximum number of minutes that can be entered is 99,999.
caution with this though. This option is only supported when the default daily schedule is set to time range. If your default daily schedule is set to specific time, the scheduled item will only be processed at the specified time. When you are finished setting the scheduled configuration options, you can then click apply. So like I said before, to create a scheduled template, you're gonna to go to processing, scheduler, and you can see the schedule templates option. The schedule management button above takes us back to that window we were at before. So we're gonna click on schedule templates and you can see all the schedule templates that have been made in the past. To create a new one, you just put a new name down here and then you're gonna click create and you can choose all the options that I talked about before on the right here. Then click apply and you'll have a new schedule template that'll appear in your schedule management window. Now, to put your on-base client in scheduler mode, you're going to want to go to your on-base client and you're going to right-click on it. And you're going to go down to properties. At the end of the target line, you're going to do space dash capital S-C-H-E-D. This is called a command line switch. This will, once you click apply, and okay, this will put your on-base client in scheduler mode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you have a question that you would like answered on an upcoming question corner, please leave a comment below.